Christina, welcome, welcome back. Today's video is a what's in my bag. It's a combo deal though. It's a purse and a pickleball bag that happen to be in the same pattern and all matchy matchy. Um, before I even dive in, I will tell you that I picked Azalea Pink, which is a lug uh, pattern because I'm doing a tournament next week with my friend Sherry, who's uh, very tropically oriented. Like these are her colors, the pink and teal and mint and Anyways, and uh, the very Hawaii, very Florida, very tropical. So anyways, I did that in honor of my partner for the tournament and also because it's fun and I looked way ahead and planned ahead to buy a bag that I thought would be great for pickleball and it's working wonderfully. I've been using it for a week already ever since our state finals from our team. So anyways, without further ado, let's start with, it's sort of a day to night transition. So the day bag, um, in this case is the purse, which is the jumper in Azalea Pink. And then we'll move on to the Ranger XL for the night, <laughs> which will be pickleball. Uh, it could flip flop, obviously. It's not day to night that matters. Sometimes I play in the morning, sometimes I play in the evening, but there you go. So the jumper, this is a large to extra large purse or shoulder bag, obviously. It's um, quite big. It has two big pockets on the front with the pocket on the pocket. It has two tote style handles with the metal rectangles so it can fold down and lay flat, which is nice. Both of these straps have those same fittings and they both have the non-slip grip all the way around. So that's really great. You can carry it like this. You can put it over your shoulder, even a big girl like me. It fits just fine. Here, I'll stand up so you can see. Um, it fits fine that way. You can carry it the crook of your arm. You can carry it standing. It's short enough that it doesn't hit the ground. And then I use also the shoulder strap. So I lay those straps flat. And this is shortened almost all the way to the shortest and is the perfect shoulder length. If I want to go crossbody, obviously I can lengthen that shoulder strap out longer and go that way. Or you can remove the shoulder strap entirely. It is totally removable and adjustable. Like I said, it's almost all the way short. And I think the only reason it's not short is just because it's been janked around and loosened itself. Not a common thing, they don't generally loosen, but on the back you have a big zipper pocket. I don't currently have anything in this pocket, but you can see the pretty floral pink interior right there. Yeah, nothing in that pocket. It has side pockets on both sides, big cargo pockets that have a little um, elastic in them and they pull nicely. They also have a magnet right there in the middle to keep them closed up against the bag when they're not being used. So you can fit a water bottle in there. I don't have anything in either side, but the same pockets on both ends of the bag. Uh, so you have two pockets in the front with pocket on pocket and two pockets on the side. All of these in this case are empty. Let me make sure, yeah. Yep, they're all empty. I don't have anything in them, but it's nice to have the option. I am underutilizing the size of this bag to tell the truth up front, but that's okay. It also has a classic phone pocket here. And my phone kind of matches even, sorta. But this is a 13 Pro Max with just a basic case on it. So I'll put it in there. Actually, I'm gonna put that out for a moment because we're gonna use that in a sec. Um, so that's it for the outside. Inside has one main compartment, double zippers. So zip that sucker open. And inside, it looks a bit of a mess really, but it's not. It's an organized disaster. So what do I have in here? I have my Vera Bradley undated planner. This is the planner I'm currently using for 2024. So I have that in there because I had an appointment today just in case I needed to write some more stuff down. I have a, was this a schooner? Yeah, the schooner is a three pouch set. They are padded, not quilted, um, but very nice pouches. They have fabric loops on both sides. You can make it into a wristlet or a crossbody or carry it as a clutch, or in this case, I'm just using it as a catch-all pouch inside my bag. Um, inside here, I have just miscellaneous things, a whole bunch of things. So let's take a time out and dive into that. Let's see. It's a, definitely a catch-all. This is not plastic lined, at least this size isn't. This is the small piece of the three. Um, but it's wipeable because it's a nylon fabric, so I have a eyeglass wipe, a screen wipe with like a microfiber style. I don't know why I have both in there right now. I have a multicolor pen. Yeah, it's pink. I just left it in there from previous. 
I have a little travel mascara, a mini mag light, a couple of hair ties, Rivandi style. I have a little mini Swiss army knife. I have some brush picks. They're like toothpicks with little brushes on them. I have a glass nail file. I have several hand wipes, Nap Fresh Moist Towelettes. I have my AirPod Pros, some chapstick, some earplugs in a little individually wrapped baggie, some nail clippers, a MagSafe little loop you can go on your phone. It's the MagSafe thing, and you can use that loop as a stand or you can use it as a holding loop. I hardly use it, but I definitely won't use it if I don't have it with me, so I have it with me. <laughs> Truth be told, I haven't been carrying this around. You'll see why in a minute. But um, And then I have two of these phone things, the trapezoid shape with the little loop on them. You can put them here in between the phone and the case, and the little loop sticks out the charging port, and you can still charge with this in. Um, but when I know I'm going to want to be hands-free and hook this to my lanyard, I put this in there. I don't know why there's two in here right now, but there you go. So that's the miscellaneous pouch. I'll set that aside. Phone we're going to set on this side. Next thing we have is Splits XL wallet. I'm very matchy-matchy in this case. Um, so the Splits XL is my favorite lug wallet overall. I do like many of their wallets, um, all different reasons. This has a removable wristlet strap, so I could take this off and use it with a pouch if I wanted or something like that. That's a nice cloud quilting with the swirly looking stuff. Big coin slot on the back and two zipper sections. So the front section, it opens like a book. And so you have one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five card slots. The bottom one is your clear window. It does not have a slide spot there, but behind it, you also have a big slip so I have like um, my passport card behind there, but just some cards. I usually have my ID here. That is in my grab and go right now. It has an elastic for a pen slot. I don't currently have a pen in there. I'm looking at my pens. No particular reason, honestly, but it's fine. And then this is where I put my cash normally. My cash is also in my grab and go at the moment, but in there I do have a coupon. So I went to PF Chang's today and I get a free lettuce wrap on my next visit. So yay. And then the back section is accordion style wallet. So you have one, two, three, you have six card slots here and six here, so three and three. Behind that, it's mirror image, you have big slot behind it. Middle section, you have three card slots there and three more on this side, which you can see there as well. So a lot of, lot of space and slots in this, which is perfect, I use all of it. <laughs> and I double stack cards, so these are usually double stacked in the front section for my main cards that I use. So there you go, that is the Splits XL. Then I have my sunglasses. So these are actually my prescription sunglasses um, from the VA, so thanks to VA. They, are, they actually match the bag too, they're purple. Um, I don't really wear glasses, I think I've talked about this before, I'm pretty sure. Um, like my vision's 2020 near and like maybe 2040 far. Everything looks clear to me, but if I put my glasses on, I can see the far, far stuff just a wee bit clearer. And that's why I don't wear them all the time. But when I do want to wear them, it is nice to have the prescription um, available, especially when I'm tired. Um, maybe I have too much caffeine. My vision tends to be affected by that for whatever reason. Um, yeah, whatever. So I do wear them, usually not the sunglass version so much. I, I have also my prescription sunglasses, or regular glasses. For those instances when you just, you're indoors or it's dusk and you want to not have the sunglasses part. So I wear them when my eyes are tired, when I just want to see a little clearer, like driving at night after a long day, things like that, whatever. So there you go, I have those. Um, when we put this all back in, I'll show you where I had them in the bag. Then, okay, inside the bag, it has a clear view pocket here, a nice zipper. I don't have anything in there, so it is zipped up. On this side, you have a nice soft lined, 
at least on one side, soft lined cargo pocket. That is where I had my sunglasses right there. Just, I mean, not my sunglasses, my regular glasses right there. It has two pen slots. I chose Aloha Sand and Cat's Orchid for the colors and theme. So they kind of go with the bag. Cat's Orchid will revisit momentarily. Um, so I just, there's two pen slots, so I put two pens in there. I don't need to have one in my wallet. I have one in my agenda and I have two right here. It's plenty of pens. All right, and then there is a key bungee with the clip. So I have a whole bunch of stuff hooked onto here. Um, so let's take everything off. So the first thing is my Vera Bradley loyalty tag bag charm. So it has all those little things and a cute little denim thing. And it's perfect because you don't need them all the time, but it's good to have them with you. So there you go. Then I have my kind of my house keys it's not just house keys but like house key mail key i don't even know what a couple of these keys are it's basically house keys and the screen door and an extra one that i don't know what it is but these i keep with me because i need to get into my house there you go but my truck I don't have to, I just leave it in there. But today I was driving my tow car, so I do need the keys. It's also what I have right here. Now, <laughs> I grabbed a few keychains just to choose from. So that's the only transition you're getting to see. Um, but yeah, so my key, and then I have a keychain on there. It's an X for Xena, obviously, just old, very robust metal, like chunka chunka. And then I have a little carabiner on there. It's just easier to clip onto things. So this is my keys. I'll put that with my phone. But I grabbed three keychains to pick from. Not that I need another one, especially because I already have the X. But just because, you know, you have all these pretty keychains. Sometimes it's nice to match them. Um, so I picked three. The first one I have is the In The Loop keychain from Vera Bradley. This is the Rainforest one. So it's got the pink and it's definitely tropical themed. It has some birds and fern leaves and... It's a lighter and more colors in it than this pattern, but it kind of goes, so that's an option. Um, and then I also chose, I can't remember what this one is. It came out at the same time as this, but it's like canopy birds or something, pink. It's got these pink parrot looking birds on there. And it isn't in the loop too, but it doesn't unsnap. It's a sewn loop and it's much smaller. It does not fit on my wrist or anything, um, but there you have it. It has a, a loop you know, a keychain ring and a clip on it. Um, and I thought color wise, you know, with the pinks and the navy and the theme, it totally goes. So I could certainly use that. Um, and because I have separate key things, I thought that my actual keys, I could just put a keychain and throw in the side pocket or something. Anyways, I haven't done that. And then this one is the lug key fob. So it has a loop on one end and then it has the clip on the other end. This one is Cat's Orchid. So it has that sort of dark purpley maroon color and the pink, the orchid cats. So I looked at that and it's not a perfect color match, but it is the same brand, not that that matters. And it, it is a color match with the pen. So for the odd item, I went ahead and selected this. Um, but since I haven't used it, these three have just been thrown in this bag and not been used all week. So I'm just going to skip it and leave it out altogether and put them back in the closet with the other keychains. Um, since I already have this keychain that I'm using anyways. Okay, so that's it for the keychains. And the last item I have in here is my grab and go wallet. This is also from Lug. It's like the Vera Bradley Zip ID and Lanyard with slight variances. The loop in this case is down the middle and it doesn't have the clear view ID. Instead, it has three card slots on each side. Um, these cards I have in here, this is basically the, the racket club passes. And then I have the zip around inside. I have credit card, driver's license, debit card, Costco card, and my military retired ID. And some cash, just folded in half. And this is an RFID pouch, which is great. Um, it's my grab and go everyday wallet. If I go to Pickleball, I take this. And I take the keys and I clip it on right there. And now I have everything I need with that and my phone. 
and I'm off to something else. If I'm getting out of the car, I wanna go shopping, so my bag in a bag kind of thing, I grab this and this and I'm off I go. So if I wanted to hook this on my lanyard as well, I would just put that insert that I showed you in there and then I'd have all of it hooked together. Okay, we'll leave that out and we'll put the rest back in. So how does it look empty? I've got my key cluster there just thrown in. But since it's hooked to this, I don't need a keychain. I'm just gonna leave it. Put the pouch in, put the wallet in, put the sunglasses in. I could stand them up vertically and they can lay next to each other vertically. It doesn't really matter though because it's very organized in the blind. I can reach in and find exactly what I need because of the different shapes. And then the calendar I'm going to leave out because I no longer need it in my purse. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside. That is what's in my jumper, my purse part. Now let's talk about the Ranger XL packed as a pickleball bag. Um, so first thing I will show you is the basic bag and then I'll show you where I store these parts and then we'll dive into everything that's on here. So it has a big front pocket. It has a phone pocket right here. So already I can tell you that's where that phone goes. Always know exactly where it is and it's protected and easily accessible in that magnet topped phone pocket. I have um, on the front inside this pocket, sorry, is where I put this stuff. I just throw it in there. Um, usually, I've just been playing so much pickleball lately. I just leave the wallet part in there and I take the keys in and out just because I change vehicles or take the car somewhere else. This has a key bungee in there, so I usually do hook the keys on there so I always can find them quickly. All right, that, we'll come back to what's in all these pockets though. So double zipper on the front pocket. We have two side cargo pockets. And nothing's in the one on this side, but in this side, I have some stuff hooked on there that I currently have tucked into the pocket. Sometimes I just leave it hanging out and that pocket is otherwise empty right now. It has a trolley sleeve and a zipper pocket on the back. The bag is tall, but not quite tall enough to conceal the paddles completely. Totally fine, it's perfect just like it is. Um, so I have two of them and I just leave that pocket unzipped and slide the paddles in and out. It has top carry handles, which if I'm just grabbing it in and out of the vehicle or holding it, I hold it by those handles. It's not really um, gonna work for me to put it over my shoulder because it's slightly short in the strap drop, but more importantly because these paddles um, are just right in the way of that. You can see they kind of take that whole middle piece. Um, but these straps do lay down flat, and when I'm accessing that middle pocket, they just lay on either side. And when I'm not accessing it, I just flip it over like that, and that just gives it um, a little more sort of security. And I hang it on the fence with a, I just added a big carabiner, and I just clip it right on the fence like that so I can access all the pockets while it's hanging even, which is just perfect, I love that. Um, okay, so let's start with what's hanging on it right here. So on this side, I have, these are my ball balls at home. They're pickle, or yeah, pickle pods, P-O-D-Z, pickle pods. There's the zipper pull right there. It shows it pickle pods. I just ordered some more um, in colors that actually match this bag and some other bags better. But I have black, I have the green colored one, which has no ball in it right now. So this is what it looks like. It just has, um, it's not kind of, it's not neoprene, but it kind of feels like a neoprene interior and it just zips around, it holds a pickleball, or it holds your AirPods, your car keys, whatever you wanna put in the pod. They come with a little carabiner, and then I put two of them on one carabiner, and this one matches my bag too. Uh, and I just clip just the side where the shoulder crossbody strap goes. These are my paddle, P-A-D-L, bands. They're like name tags for your paddle. I have them on my paddles. I'll show you those as well. These are just extra ones that I had, so I went ahead and put them on my pickle pods. They're different colors. You can put a name, like I put Xena on it always on one side. And then on the other side, some of them say Easy Tiger, so it reminds me when I need to dial it down, I flip the paddle. Or some of them, like this one has, um, in, there's a couple of um, emojis you can put on there. I put pickleball paddle and happy, so pickleball happy. 
So if I get angry with myself, I just flip it over and remind myself, it's happy, it's just a game. And on this one, you can't tell very well because it doesn't come out that great, but it's a warthog and a crown, so warthog princess for that Zeno one. Yeah, so I've ordered them at different times, so even though I order like the same print, sometimes it comes out bigger, sometimes it's smaller, sometimes I do all caps, sometimes I do lower. But anyway, they have a lot of different colors and they're really fun and they're elastic. They're like those rubber bracelets, so you can stretch them and put them on things. Anyway, that's enough about that. I have all the accessories. Everybody loves it, my little pickleball balls. And I, like I said, I just hook it right here where the strap hooks. I just clip it right onto that ring and just let it hang there. And the purple kind of matches the bag-ish, but I just, that's, I don't care if it matches. On the other side, I have a carabiner just like that, same type of thing. And then on there, I have three things. I have a lip balm holder. This is Stephanie Dawn in the gray Heather color. Um, this one is an EOS lip balm. And then I have a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. This one is Black Cherry Malo. It smells lovely, but I'm always, you're always touching things at the park or, yeah. So I always keep my hands and everything else clean. And then I have a medic alert little tag on here that just says a couple things on it in case something happens. But there you go. So I just have that and I clip it on to this side on that same loop on the opposite side. And then because this one, I don't need it all the time and it's dangly bits, I just tuck it into that pocket. So it's very readily available, but it's not swinging around all the time. It's right there. Okay. Okay, now back to the back pocket. Has a trolley sleeve. We talked about Velcro in the middle to hold it up against the bag. I have two paddles in here, and this is kind of cool. These are my two Selker paddles. There's the bands I have in purple because that's my color, Xena. And then this one has Pickleball Happy, and this one has Easy Tiger on it. So the paddle covers, these I got from Amazon. <laughs> you might recognize that one, right? Xena, Warthog Princess, that's my YouTube um, channel icon and I chose the purple. And these are a neoprene thing. They zip over and they fit. In this case, this is the longer style paddle. This is a Selkirk Invicta Amped Fiber Flex Lightweight. Um, I got it in purple. I put purple tape on the outside to protect it, which clearly I bang it on the ground every now and then. And then I put different grip tape on it. So I'm purple all the way because I love purple. Um, but these are nicely padded. They have a really thick neoprene to it. And the zippers are very smooth. The zipper pulls a little covered zipper. It works great and it fits both sizes of paddles. So this being the long style paddle, it fits no problem. It zips all the way around and gives a really good protection to the paddle. And I can put them both together in the same pocket and not worry about them ruining each other. The other one, these again are custom paddle covers from Amazon. You can order them. You provide the picture and pick the background color. So this was the other one I chose. It was Once in My Life. I will always be proud of it, A10 Thunderbolt. So that was my plane. That's where Warthog part of my name comes from. He's flying the A10 Thunderbolt, which is nicknamed the Warthog. So if you didn't know that, um, my call sign as a fighter pilot was Xena. And so Xena is the warrior princess. And I just kind of modified it. It's the warrior princess who flew Warthogs became Warthog Princess. So. If you didn't know that, there you go. I'll put a little link up here to share the video where I discussed how I got my name. But anyways, those are the ones I chose. This is my other Selkirk paddle. Guess what, it's also purple. <laughs> it has a different grip and it has the short grip, but this is the Amped X5 Fiber Flex Lightweight, but it's the one with the short handle. Um, so slightly more squared off paddle, if you will, not as elongated. Um, I love both of these a lot, they have great blend of power and control and good feel. Anyway, and this one, I just put washi tape on the outside of it. So washi tape, you know, like you do in your planners and agendas, it's decorative, not so much functional. Um, I had this tape on my other paddle, but it got pretty wore out. So I changed it and put some proper protective tape on there. Um, this one just hasn't been used as much lately because I've been using this one. All right, blah, blah, pick a ball. Okay, so these two fit again very nicely together and they go right into that back pocket as long as I leave it unzipped. 
and they go right in. Not as easily while it's stuffed from the inside, <laughs> um, but they do. They actually go in much easier than it looks like. Okay, let's flip it around and talk about this front pocket. I don't know, Kelly hears something outside. <laughs> yeah, off she goes to go bark at him from the side yard. Um, okay, so this front pocket, you can see from the side, this has quite a lot of gusset to it of itself. I mean, that's a lot of space. And it also has some organization. So very Ranger-like. It zips down pretty far so you can really get into this pocket. So let's pull out what we have in there, and then we'll put it all back in together. Um, all right. Not a whole lot in here. So let's talk about the organization. First of all, this pocket is RFID, so there's the RFID tag right there. You've got six card slots, three and three, plus a cash drawer style. So you can use this as a built-in wallet if you're using this like a purse or whatever. I don't use it like that, but you can. It also has the, where is it? Right here, sorry. The key bungee with the clip, and that's where I put my car keys earlier. Um, I'm actually going to take them off right now because I don't want to forget that I put them in my bag prematurely. And then it has a zipper pocket here on the front. I'm not using that either at the moment, but here's how I'm using this pocket. I have some tissues. You never know, you always need tissues. And I put that in that cash drawer pocket. It's fine. Um, I have two bobsleds, and, and I, I know they don't match, that's okay. They match each other. This one is my day, and this one has lights on it, so I think night. It's not 100% true, but that's how I separate them. This one has my Pickleball sunglasses. Any sunglasses can be used, of course. These are the ones I bought. Hi, Kelly. You want to come up? She comes by and licks my elbow. Okay. Mm, you good girl. We're going to go to the doggy P A R K after I get done filming. She doesn't. I know you know the words. Okay, go on. Okay. Um, so these ones are in Sunny Medallion. They're very Bradley and they match my bag I was using. I'll put a link here to show you that bag if you want to look back at that. Um, but I still kept them as my pickleball sunglasses. I do actually wear them. I'm trying to protect my eyes in many, many ways. Part of that is the shading for, you know, cataract prevention or mitigation. Because uh, I'm getting older and sometimes the sun is very, very bright. So sometimes you need sunglasses, but my eyes sweat so much they get fogged. So I need to work on that. But I keep them with me all the time so I have the option to wear them. And when I'm not wearing them, they're protected. This is a bobsled XL. This other one is the Christmas lights one. It's a bobsled regular, so you can see the difference in size right there. It's like two fingers longer, slightly taller, about the same width, uh, but there you go. And I just clip them together, just makes it easier. Um, and in the night one, the night one, like I said, isn't truly night, but what I have in there is generic. These aren't sport specific, um, but just some protective goggles because sometimes the games get a little crazy and especially playing against the guys and bangers and they're zipping it at you and right at the kitchen and wham, right in the face. That could be very detrimental to your vision. So I'm trying to be better about using these. These are pretty lightweight. I actually bought them at like Home Depot or Lowe's or something. So they're actually not meant for pickleball per se. They work fine. Um, but again, I have the same fogging problem with all my glasses. So I haven't been wearing them much. That being said, today, because I had a separate eye injury. We don't even go into those details, but I dropped my phone on my face in the RV a month ago. <laughs> I had an eye exam today. Anyways, uh, I got some, some prescription eyewear protection. So they're basically um, regular frames, but they're kind of look, they're clear white. I'll show them to you when they come. But they're clear white, but they'll be prescription clear, and I'll use those as my pickleball safety glasses. Um, so maybe that'll help just a little more breathable, we'll see. All right, so glasses, glasses, I just have them hooked together and I put them in side by side like that and they slide right down into that pocket, no problem. Um, then I have my grab and go wallet, which since I'm not going anywhere else this evening, well, I'm going to the dog park actually, but I'll keep that out with my keys so that we can go do that. And then the other thing I have is, um, I have two of those bands, my paddle, because I made a big order and some friends, and. I, Somebody hasn't picked them up yet from me, but this is my paddle, what it looks like, P-A-D-L. That's their sticker. And the little thing that came with it says, awesome, you made it yours. Um, and then it has just a share the wealth kind of info. 
Anyways, this is a teammate of mine who ordered two and just hasn't picked them up for me yet. So I keep them in my bag. That's usually when I'll see her is at Pickleball. So that's where they are. Okay, so that's the front pocket. I'm gonna pull my phone out so I don't lose that for now. And then let's get into the interior pocket. So big, big middle pocket. It is the whole rest of the bag, all of this part between my fingers. Um, right there is a big, big, big bag. You have double zippers on top, and because it's a Ranger, it works like a Ranger. It zips all the way down the sides. Now, both sides have gusset, but look how nicely that opens up, and you can get right into it. Um, right on the top, I just have a white washcloth. It's all, it was my sweat cloth from today, so I need to wash that. Um, but inside, here's what you have. You have a clear view pocket on the top, Below that, you have two cargo pockets. I'll show you what's in there in a moment. On the back, you have one big cargo pocket, and then I have some pouches inside, but it's a, just a big compartment. So let's dive in. There's the schooner large, the schooner medium, and the tumbler. And once that's out, you can see the big pocket inside. In the back section, I do have some things in that cargo pocket in the back. I have a visor in there. It's just the kind that works like a headband, has a ponytail hole. So it's small and compact. I keep it in my bag all the time because if I forget to bring a hat, it, I don't have a hat. Um, then I have two of these. This is just a calf sleeve because I've been having problems with my Achilles and like muscle cramping stuff because I don't know, I'm out of shape, need more electrolytes, I don't know. But I keep these with me because sometimes I need to put them on to keep my muscles warm. And then these are the two ankle sleeves that I was wearing to keep my Achilles a little bit more warm and supported. So sometimes I wear these and sometimes I don't because my Achilles is doing better, thankfully. So I just keep them folded like that and I keep them in that pocket. So when I need them, if I don't have them on, they're with me. And I can just stop, take off a shoe, throw them on. Now in the front here, these are um, basically wipes. So this one's Charmin and the other one's Cottonelle, but they're like, because the bathroom at the park where I play, two of the parks anyways, half the time there's no toilet paper and it's just a bit of a kind of yucky mess. So I always have that and then wash my hands and sanitize them after. And lastly, in the clear view pocket, miscellaneous items. Let's see what we got here. Oops more chapstick this is the actual chapstick brand um so chapstick another nail file we've got a headband this is a fun one there's two there's a black one and this one is sweaty bands is what it's called sweaty bands and the back side almost feels like a velvet on the front this one has just pickleball things the kitchen dink baller smash pickleball and it just repeats, just some color and fun. And they work really, really great. Because of the velvet material, they actually hold your hair back. So I don't wear headbands a lot, but I would totally wear this, like, and it stays. It stays where you want it on your hair. And even if you have an odd shaped head like me that doesn't hold bands, it will still stay, it's pretty good. So sometimes I use that if I have wispies and I don't have a hat, or maybe you just need a little extra hair control so I have a couple options. And then this is a little fan in a little pouch. So watch it just boop. It's a fan. Always hot this girl. So I have that. And then it just folds right back up and into the little pouchy pouch. Great for travel. Great also in between games at Pickleball. Uh, yeah, so that's what I have in that pocket. So I'm gonna put all that back and it's clear view so I can see what's in there. Ta-da, clear view. Now, what is in these things? Well, here in this pouch is, um, well, several things. It is called the tumbler. And inside is just a cavernous thing. It's kind of like a ditty bag, but it is thick and quilted and it is plastic lined all throughout. It has two cargo pockets in there built into the sidewall. I have spray sunscreen and sunscreen lotion, both sport versions. Because even if I put it on before, sometimes you're out there, you sweat it out, you gotta put more on. I have 
two sets of sun sleeves. This is like wearing a t-shirt, whatever, and the sun's just really brutal. We're getting into the hotter days. So you just wear, they go from your wrist up to mid arm and just protect your skin from the sun. And they're thin, so they're pretty breathable and they just have UV protection. On that note, I have another version. This one is two sleeves with a center connection. So you just slide them on and it kind of rests across the back of your shoulders. You can wear it on top of your shirt, under your shirt, whatever. Just another variety of sleeves. So I keep them with me. I have a cooling towel. This is a neck one. You soak it and then it has these gel beads that fill up and then you just put it on your neck to keep you cooler. Haven't needed it yet, but eh, it's almost that time of year. A band. Um, when you're playing in league or tournaments, usually you have to mark the first server, so you just throw on a sweatband. I just keep that in there. Then this is a cooling towel. This one came from Kino Sports Complex, celebrating their 25 years. And we play out there once a week for drills. So anyways, they gave them to us, that's nice. And then this is just another clean washcloth that I use as a sweat towel. So I just keep those in here all the time. And sometimes I don't use it, I just carry it around. It has a, a drawstring and a slide lock. Keep that, I put it right in the middle of the bag, standing up. So I don't even have to take it out of the bag to get into it. If you saw the flashing, that was just my phone. Text messages. All right, so the medium and the large of the schooner pouches, they're quite large. They are perfect for this application, I think. Um, this one has a sort of my med kit, if you will. It has some band-aids, because you never know, people are nicking themselves all the time or scraping their knee or whatever. And then I have a bunch of non-latex gloves. And then I have Voltaren and lidocaine gel. These I had with me because I was having so many problems with my Achilles that sometimes I literally would have to stop, take off my shoe and sock, put the cream on, put the sleeves on, and then put my shoe back on and go play. Right now it's doing well, but I kept it with me because I've got two tournaments coming up and I just want to have that stuff with me all the time just in case. And sometimes other people need it too. So guess what? There you go. And that stands up um, in there. I'll show you again at the end. And the large pouch, um, this is my snack pouch. I, I have a breakfast, like a protein shake before I go play or whatever, but sometimes you know, it's easier to play on a mostly empty stomach than it is if you just ate a big meal and you're trying to move around and be active. It's just not very conducive to activity at that level. So um, sometimes you just show up hungry or you play for so many hours that you're like, I got to refill some of that stuff. And sometimes, again, it's not me, it's someone else, but I always have snacks with me. A lot of us have adopted that here. So I just have a bunch of dry roasted peanuts. I have them double bagged so that it doesn't smell like peanuts everywhere. And then I have a whole bunch of different fruit bars. I've got these that's it ones these are from Costco um, they're just a, just a small little fruit snack relatively healthy um, 60 calories each no sugar added this one's apples and strawberries there's mango and apples there's blueberries and apples I guess they're all apple based yeah anyways I have a pack of gum trident and spearmint I have these fruit snacks black forest it says stretch island, but they're just more like a fruit leather. There's different flavors, apple, strawberry, grape. They had raspberry, apricot, whatever. And random, I have a lollipop from Valentine's Day in there. Yeah, I would say I'm not eating a bunch of candy, but yeah, so just a little something. Sometimes I'll have protein bars or stinger waffles or um, uh, Gatorade gummy gel things, whatever, just something to put a little sugar and electrolytes or carbs back in you, proteins, that kind of stuff. And when I put them back in the bag, it's right back the way it was. So three pouches lined up, no particular order, except this one's in the middle and these are on either side. And I know exactly what's in each one just by the feel of the size of the pouch. So even though I can see in there, I don't need to. So let me just zip this. Hi Kelly, are you helping? Huh? Your big help, okay. So zip this back up. Try not to zip the gusset into the zipper because it jams it. All right, there you go, double zipper, flip that over, throw it over my shoulder and off I go to pick a ball. So that is my matchy matchy bags.
with my matchy matchy accessories, the jumper, and the Ranger XL. Ha! Bye for now.